Um, they want on her Kaylene, which is just south of Hawaii, the Big Island. It's a category for hurricane that's down from the category 5 peak intensity it held for quite a while. Now, this sound is drawing headlines. <clears throat> And so it's going to move by Hawaii, but there's a chance it can move Terrence Hawaii. Now let's see the code for the next five days. Is this is what we're from casting for the next five days. By, as of right now, I guess, 5 a.m. Hawaiian time. Lane is going to move close to the Big Island, and as we're heading into the weekend, it's going to oh, draw out to sea. But the problem is, is that close approach, the intense winds and rain of lane are going to cause some heavy effects. This can be a dangerous and catastrophic storm. Now, I don't like how they've moved the big island out of the cone, as this island right here. But as you can see, any more closer, and we can see some landfall. But once it does move out to sea, it's going to begin to weaken even more. It could go into the West Pacific and join Sula and Cimarron. So there is a tropical, well, a hurricane watch. My bad. And a hurricane warning. Oh, in pretty much all over Hawaii. But this is a big storm causing some big things. Right now, I'm going to begin feeling those swells. Maybe even some gusty ass, well, gusty winds. I don't want to cuss because I don't want us to get demonetized. But as you can see, you get a high percent chance of getting tropical storms winds going into Monday. It's going to lessen on the um, outskirts. It's more heavy towards this area. I guess this kind of points towards a landfall. So I wouldn't roll it out yet. It kind of is going to shrink. But I think this thing to mean something. You know? All models already kind of mean, mean, agree on that. We'll check out the models later. But we'll check them out right now. Now, elsewhere in the ground, we have Typhoon Sulek in Korea and in Japan, Typhoon Cimarron. Both of them kind of influencing the lane. As you can see, they're not very far apart global, and that's lane. Nothing in the Atlantic, nothing in the Indian Ocean, says in the Amazon, off limits. Even the East Pacific is said, this is the Central Pacific. But this is somehow it is for uh, 74 mile per hour ones. Now, the most likely time, now I'm going to bring this up of TS ones, travel ones, and France ones. The most likely arrival time in terms of the big island will be going into 8 a.m. Sunday. I haven't done one of these in a while, so I apologize. But from the rest of the islands, you can be seeing it only as Friday. And I'm going to show you on a special website called windy.com what I mean and what it's going to look like when wise. Turning on the rest of the time it's out here as a path to white. But that's um, but now the only is reasonable time going into since they at 2 a.m. Seems like the bottom line, the front lane. But another thing is look how the islands are almost in that red. And getting close, that is not good. I do see a landfall happening. That's just my prediction. This is the initial wind field. And it's quite a big wind field. 
and he wants to track a line. I advise the Grand Hawaii book a flight. Get out and go. You you do not want to be in Hawaii. Which would pull away a lane. Now I'm not saying the effects are gonna be major, but it could be. Especially as we could look at a a Nikki type thing here. <sighs> and we do not want a Nikki type star, I'm telling you. I'm telling you now. Do not wait for Friday. Even if it's going to move out to sea. You're in the outflow. Get out and go. If you're not in the cone. If you're not in the cone. Still get out and go. I'm telling you this for a reason. You don't want to be in this star. It's very dangerous. Very dangerous. And it's very damaging. It's a dangerous star. I can't stress enough. Those who watch me in Hawaii, please get out and go. And don't wait from Saturday. Even though effects will be lessened, please do not wait from Saturday. Even in Kauai, these islands, in any hurricane fast pass, get out and go. Just go, leave. Go to the United States. Go somewhere. Just evacuate. Even then, I might be hard. If you choose to stay, I pray for you. And my thoughts go out to you. To you. Because this is a very dangerous thing. Now, before we... Well, I'm going to look at the models now. And there's a reason why I'm praying for you guys. Because this is a monster of a thing. It was a category fight. I missed the chance to actually... Get an update on it while I was in the peak. But I was a bit busy. I was not like getting know that, but. Here's a GFS consensus, and I'll show you the rest when the model is really just say. Now I'm gonna do this one. This is as of recently. And now notice as it takes this time inland. It, it quickly weakens it, but it takes it inland. This is what I mean. It doesn't matter when you are. You have to. Right here, too. That's, that's not good. That's not very ethical from development in Hawaii. But is this one, the model Sam, something a bit different? The ECMW, the ECMW one. Taking a clip, pretty much clipping this island. Now, the sound on that one load. Now then we have the CMC. What are they saying? I guess it's a good model. Noticing how it... They don't say much. But let me show you what the consensus says. This is lying on satellite. I'll get to this loop as well. So that's the official fan cast. But here are some of the global models. Some of them, a lot of them agree was a push out to sea. And some of them take it inland. Since the models are split and you don't want to trust the models. But I must say, you have to scram. A lot of the um, GF, GEFS models they can have to see. And into Hawaii. One even on the big island. I will not stay in Hawaii even you. But a lot of these models kind of just take it away from Hawaii. So this is a very um, dangerous thing as it looks to affect why the models now is down to category five. I'm going to start to drop it. A lot of them agree on a big drop. Some of them keep a uh, good intensity, but I'm not going to risk it if I was in Hawaii. Now this is my little cone code thing. This is lame. Now, I know the color code's a bit bad, but hey, that's the best I can do. But as we move into Sun's Day here, let's not today. Let's move to this line here. As we reach that line, this is how I'm at 12 p.m. So, very recent, and that's the line. Noticing how intense it looks. 
As we go into Saints Day here, laying this guy out to kind of spread out. As we go into Friday, it's going to start to weaken as it makes its close approach. And this is the ECMWF. Saturday is going to be quite weak, and that's pretty much what you need to know. Now let's go back to here and choose the GF. Best. Now this is the one I want one of you all to see. Noticing how it counts itself around. And look at this. It over the way, and as it moves away, you don't know what I'm mean. So let's take a look at the satellite imagery. Here we go. It's a big pill to swallow for a while. This is more of a um, realization of the um, the um, track as well. Which I'm gonna turn out of that. But here's it's more of what the track actually kind of looks like in terms of intensity wise. It was a category 5 from a split second. So let's now, if I look at this beast, it does look like it weakens slightly because it has, but still looks overall like a category 5. And those clouds starting to get close into Hawaii. This is just not a storm you want to be caught in at the moment. Lane is just too strong. Hawaii already seems to get the effects of the storm from the outflow. And looking at it, it's nice and healthy. There's a lot of um, waves around and clouds, but this is the main focus. It stands out. Lane. There's a nice spiral band tucked in there. And you see this nice outflow shooting off. A nice strong eye wall and a nice Healthy eye. I think it's the infrared. Who knows who wants to see it? You can clearly see what I mean. There's some nice convective features in the um, center of the line. It's a ground face, but that's a big crap. It's more of a visible imagery. But I'm going to use this one as it looks the best. But Lane is clearly going to. Uh, have its name spread out now. It's making itself known. As the sun continues to rise over here in my head comes. We went, I wish you the best of luck, Hawaii. Because you have to deal with this monster. No one should ever have to deal with it. Not even a country known for typhoons like the Philippines should. I won't even go to some of my best enemies unless I, I hated them that much. So, that's all I have to say for now. Here's the model consensus. And this is kind of what they all kind of think. But as, as I say it, don't take the chance. You, you should not take the chance. Especially in Hawaii. Yes, do not take the chance to get out and go. So, that's all I'm going to say from now about Lane. And here's some Hawaiian satellite imagery of Lane. Like I said, two attempts. Please subscribe and turn on notifications for my updates on this time. It was guaranteed, well, almost guaranteed to be mine. So, all I'm going to say is stay safe in your Hawaii. Get out and go. Goodbye. Peace.